Here's a build update. It's been a couple of weeks, but I just finished sealing my right fuel tank and I filled a bunch of rivets. So this week, actually two weeks ago, I got the, uh, the pitot tubes completed. Um, I got them cut, bent out of the way, and connected up to the, uh, the tubing. Then I got the top skins laid and clecoed in place and got all the rivets installed. So that was, uh, that was fun to get that project done. Um, I also sort of pre-assembled the left fuel tank. Uh, so that's a, another step. Uh, but Midwest Sky Sports, this is Henry with Midwest Sky Sports that on Facebook on Sling Builders talked about uh, their method for filling rivets. Um, and it's a modification of what I do. Um, so I decided to try his method out. And basically you're using the super fill, but you're thinning it out with rubbing alcohol. And then you're putting it in this syringe with a 16 gauge needle. Um, I, I thought it worked really good. I'm going to keep doing it. Um, I did grind the needle down. Um, they're because they're have a long sharp tip um the the super fill just sort of squirts out the sideways so i ground it down i have a scotch bright wheel on my grinder that i bought when i started my build um if you're not familiar it's a great little tool for smoothing out metal and corners and stuff so uh i just ground down the needle and uh, use that uh, you can see here this is the consistency i sort of ended up with where it squirts out really well um, it took a couple of attempts. I actually clogged up one of my needles. So you might um, mix it up um, and just kind of see how it flows before you screw the needle in place. Uh, but as you can see, you, you, you're able to put the needle into the hole. Um, so I think you actually get a better fill of the rivet, the, the cavity inside the rivet. Um, and then it, I, I found that I made a lot less mess just because it's a... Uh, it's it's more uh, focused coming out of that 16 gauge needle than the larger opening that I was using on uh, some syringes that without a needle that I was using before. So anyway, um, it does make the uh, mixture a little bit softer, but that's okay. So on to the fuel tanks. Uh, if you haven't done this, boy, it's a lot of fun. Let me tell you, um, I did pre-assemble a few parts. I got a pint of the same sealant that Sling recommends and mixed it up and did a few uh, fittings and all ahead of time just to save time once I got my tubes mixed. Uh, these are just some pictures of me in process. Um, it, it, I, it was probably a 10 or 11 hour day by the time I got the tank completely done and I got everything cleaned up. Um, Evan's videos on the Sling website or the Swing a YouTube page, he said two tubes, I used three, uh, but it, uh, I thought they turned out pretty well. I think I oversealed everything. It's only a couple of extra ounces of sealant, so I don't think it's gonna weight me down too bad. Uh, but we'll see, I'll wait a week and then we'll uh, put some air in them and see if uh, I did a good job or not. But uh, the cleanup was probably the least fun of the whole process. But that's it for this week, take care.